Hi kids, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the halftime show with my brother Billy there. Billy had to go back home, but we're going to carry on here and we are moving into part three. That's right, the Toxic Avenger Part 3, The Last Temptation of Toxie. The real American superhero. Look how patriotic we are. It's back when an American flag didn't automatically make you think somebody was an asshole. <clears throat> we have Ron Fazio, Phoebe Legere again. John Altamira, Rick Collins, Lisa Gay, Jessica Dublin, Michael Kaplan. The Last Temptation of Toxie. I believe this was made at the same time. I think they made two and three right back to back or maybe even together. And I'm still working on the same drink, so I will make it to part four. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, 1989 Troma Entertainment, uh, directed once again Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Hertz, and starring a lot, we, we went over that, but a lot of the people some, from the uh, second one. When last we saw our heroes, they stood triumphant as the CEO of Apocalypse Import Incorporated and his cat lady were run out of town. <clears throat> so I don't know if this is a sequel or a requel. I'm not exactly sure. Because once again, once again, the CEO and Apocalypse Incorporated are eyeballing Tromaville and plotting havoc. Like part two, things are peaceful and Toxie is depressed <clears throat> with nothing to do, in other words, no crime to fight, until he receives inspiration from a news article. Here's where we diverge. Uh, news article about a revolutionary new procedure that can restore Claire's vision. The only problem is that this revolutionary new procedure costs $347,000. <clears> Where the hell is Toxie going to get $347,000? Well, first he gets a job. And actually he gets a series of jobs because... <laughs> Toxie, it turns out, cannot hold down a job. Um, you know, he goes to work at a garage and the, the, the Pinto that he's trying to work on explodes. Uh, he goes to work at the video store there. You all know the, the Tromaville video store. And he comes up and the videotapes are melting in his hands. So... Yeah, Toxie's having a hard time uh, keeping a job and making the money. So in desperation and after a horrible nightmare, he turns to his nemesis, Apocalypse Incorporated. And the CEO signs him on as sort of a PR guy. <laughs> you heard me. So Toxie's job becomes trying to convince the citizens of Tromaville that the dioxin plant isn't so bad and the nuclear waste dump is is okay there there's no threat there so claire has her operation <laughs> and mind you claire yeah well i think we'll get to it uh, Claire regains her sight, presumably spread eagle in surgery. Every time we see Claire, she's not only dressed in lingerie and stockings, but she's like sleeping spread eagle on the bed like, uh, like a hustler model. Uh, 
I mean, she's got her panties on. We're not seeing her business or anything, but this is how she sleeps. Did we already hit 76? Hang on, I might have to pause this. Oh, I don't know what that was. I thought the air conditioner was going to kick on. Um, <clears throat> but as uh, Toxie has turned into a yuppie corporate bitch, the people of Chromaville boo and hiss his every appearance. Even Claire confronts his egotistical ass, and finally, when he sees some children tearing down his poster, it clicks with Toxie. <clears throat> he sees the light and decides that he must fight once again. But who is the CEO, really? And what about that contract he signed? I mean, did he sign it in his own blood? Is it worth anything? Do y'all like Five Levels of Doom? I mean, I played the shit out of that when I was younger. Okay. This is the first trauma film that I saw on the big screen. And it still holds up. Gory, violent, gross, funny, and yes, sexy. <laughs> Claire always looks like she stepped right out of a Playboy centerfold. And the sex scene in this movie... <laughs> It's truly something to be old. Uh, yeah, it's an extension of the, the scene in, in part two, but uh, yeah. Uh, worth it just for that. I give it the same four rings, even though it's not quite as good as part two. I like part two a little bit better, but four rings. For part three, The Last Temptation of Toxie. Now hold on to your hats, folks. You might need another break. Go to the restroom. Somebody cho stole Charlie's car. <laughs> He's all worked up about it up there. Uh, <laughs> join us. In just a few minutes for part four, Citizen Toxie. <laughs>